quick overview of Proxuma, its current capabilities, uh, both for planning service calls and for project management. So first, this is the planning screen. The planning screen is basically an overview of your entire team, what they're doing during the week. And <clears throat> how it works is purple are ticket service calls and pink are project task service calls. So a service call, of course, is just an entity saying at this date and time, perhaps location, I'm going to be working on this particular ticket. Proxuma is uh, a portal to all those service calls, also to the ticket and a way to very quickly create service calls. So the way that works is you have your plan bucket where you filter by whatever you want auto task field wise. So a queue, uh, a category, a type. You can even say, okay, of this category, um, I want only tickets of this status and they also have to belong to this queue. You can go as granular as, want, as you want and stack those filters and save them as one of your many saved layouts uh, right here. So you always have the right workflow at your fingertips. Along with those saved layouts is the team you see here based on department or you select some individuals or skills um, and how compact everything is. So here you see the bucket. I can make that a lot more compact if I want by deselecting a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and so now I only see this, right? It's up to you uh, how much information you want to see. I would want to see description, estimated hours for sure, and perhaps even uh, what uh, customer or project they're related to. Uh, but if I want to see more quickly, I can also just click on the blue button. It takes me directly to that auto task ticket where I see all the internal communication around it. Um, and everything that's happened. Now, once I'm ready to plan, I know who to plan it with because I'm the dispatcher, I know what it entails. I just drag it into somebody's calendar. I find the nearest gap that I want to find. Uh, for instance, here, I see that there's uh, some overlap, but what I can do is just either change the time here to three, so that it only takes an hour, or what I could also do is just make it bigger or smaller from Proxuma. What we want is for you to have instant planning, no lag. And whatever processing has to happen in the background, it happens for you. But you're not bothered with it. You're just continuing to schedule service call after service call, um, adding to the Outlook calendar as well as the dispatch calendar. So that's an important thing to stand still with is that once I drag it in, I already created the service call and I've created an Outlook appointment sent from whatever email address you want, but it's usually planning at or dispatching at your organization. So if I click, this wasn't a service call. If I click add to planner, I've just created a service call. I click on the link and I instantly see a service call in Autotask. That's how quick this works, right? So a two second service call creation, uh, can mean a lot to a lot of dispatchers. Um, now, what I would recommend is finding out what stack of filters in your organization would produce the most urgently to be planned tickets right here and finding out what team you want in Proxuma. Usually it's the more experienced engineers. And that's why we also have project tasks alongside escalated tickets. Right. People who run projects usually know a lot and they're also handling more escalated tickets. And those are the kinds of tickets that you want to allocate a certain amount of time for. So instead of giving a pile of tickets, you just schedule neat little blocks, thereby filling up their calendar with billable work and also allotting other slots for project work. So that's, that's kind of how the projects and the planning work together in Proxuma. Um, and once you start doing this, you can actually go into some serious capacity planning. So what we have here is the capacity graph, which shows you sort of a battery percentage per week or per day or per month uh, as to how much capacity you have based on what you're viewing. And you can change what you're viewing. You can filter by skill role, department, or just individuals. 
meaning you can see how many Azure people you have, how many server people you have, uh, weeks, months, and even years ahead if you plan that far. So usually for the project team whose time actually does get planned, um, who have certain skills for certain uh, tasks, it's very useful to have this kind of information at a glance. Uh, bringing us to the project screen. So Proxuma's project screen currently shows you an overview of all your customers. So these are individual customers. And this is a giant bar because we added all their projects together. Then once you open up a uh, customer, here I've got demo company, you see a progress bar for each project. You see who is associated with that project and what the status is, which you can change on the fly as well. Um, and you see an hour bar. Now these hour bars, they get filled up with service calls. That's how we envision planning out uh, projects. So as you can see here, I open up a project, then I get a progress bar for each phase, sub phase, and eventually I get to the project tasks and even their service calls. So a project task is very similar to a ticket, but it has estimated hours. And what you can do from the project screen is manipulate the project tasks. This moves up the deadline uh, or even, you know, move them around a little bit, right? Oh, that one didn't have a license. <laughs> um, so I can plan out my projects based on who's available in the project screen. I can instantly see uh, where we're at with a certain customer and their projects. Um, and I can then go further and budget out my project tasks with calendar items. So let's say a task has an estimated hours uh, right here. Let's see, estimated hours 15. Then our budget for this task will be 15 hours. And as you can see here, estimated hours 15, planned hours 0, actual work 5, hours left 10. Meaning... Five hours worth of service calls are in the past and 10 have yet to be planned. Um, now, of course, we're currently at the end of July, so this is already in the past. Uh, but if you go into the future, you double click underneath a task that creates a service call. And you've just planned out the budget. Um, however, you didn't know whether this person was available on an hourly basis. So what I'd recommend you do is you plan out the service calls far ahead into the future and you do it sort of um, in rough sketches in the project screen because projects are usually not an hourly thing. They're usually uh, planned over weeks. And then once you have all the steps planned out here, uh, then you can go back to the planning screen in the week view and go to the particular week you're interested in and make sure that here everything fits together nicely. And perhaps you'll leave space for those project engineers uh, to pick up uh, uh, new bucket items in the future, new escalated tickets. Uh, that way you're making sure that all your most skilled team members are always doing something useful. Um, but an added bonus to this is once you clear out a, a, a whole pile of tough tickets that take a lot of time, you actually clear out people's space to handle more incoming ad hoc work as well. So your customer satisfaction will go up very much. They'll be able to get a calendar invite fully customizable from Proxuma uh, for the service call and they'll see more things picked up immediately as well. So I'll just quickly show you. Here's where you would uh, customize what each Outlook calendar invite looks like uh, for a task, for a ticket, and for a service call with multiple tickets or tasks. Those can be things like uh, you're on site and you're doing multiple tickets for that particular customer, or perhaps you're bunching up a whole bunch of escalated tickets into one big service call. Service call based planning, Outlook based planning, that's what Proxuma is all about. Um, allowing you to also be in control of your planned work because you're seeing service call status right here. That's the new, complete, complete, new. Um, so in a real situation, not in this demo environment, in a real scenario, if you look at the past, you should only see complete, complete, complete and not new. And then if there's a new, it should stick out.
A little tip right there is you can go service call status and select everything but complete so that everything disappears that wasn't completed and you immediately see what needs replanning. You then go into that ticket and you can see some uh, ticket description notes or perhaps service call notes and you can act on it immediately. You can assign it to somebody else, you can move it up, you can copy it and then move it up or uh, you can just drag it visually to the nearest gap and you are making sure that everything gets done. Customer gets an update. They're not left guessing when their problem gets handled. Uh, you're clearly communicating and you're planning out your work. And that's what Proxuma is today.